A scathing report from the city controller this morning about the city's failure to handle mentally ill homeless people in the shelter system. CBS News' Elijah Westbrook has the story. Great. State Comptroller Thomas DiNapoli says the city's homeless shelter system is missing the mark when it comes to properly taking care of the mentally ill. This more than 40-page report released Thursday shows placement in a specialized facility may lower the risk to those inside and outside the shelter system. DiNapoli's audit found issues with the system's assessment process, saying DHS does not utilize all available data and that clients were self-reporting answers that don't always reveal reveal the true situation. Also, auditors found instances where people were assessed and placed in shelters that did not match the information documented by caseworkers. And there were extensive delays in placement into a shelter, in some cases nearly a month. We're going to be more responsive. We're going to be clear. We're going to be compassionate. But we're not punting this issue. We're going to face this issue head on. The scathing report comes after first responders and outreach workers are now being directed by Mayor Eric Adams to transport people experiencing a mental health crisis on the streets or subways to a hospital if they are a danger to themselves or unable to meet their basic needs, a plan that is facing criticism by some city leaders. The problem is this plan doesn't lay out the help. It focuses a lot on the involuntary removal, and so we have to get some additional questions answered. Back to the DHS report, the comptroller looked at information of more than 17,000 homeless individuals. Of those, it reports more than 3,000 were diagnosed with serious mental illness that should have qualified them for a mental health shelter. It also found people with known substance abuse issues were routinely placed in facilities that did not have specialized care. DiNapoli recommends that DHS further considers what actions to take for clients who may cause danger to themselves or others, including transferring those into shelters that better serve their needs. Now, the comptroller recommends transferring those with mental health issues into other facilities to better serve their needs. Cindy. Now, you mentioned that DHS responded to the audit. What else did they did they say about the findings? Well, you know, Cindy, they're pretty much disagreeing with this entire report. Mm -hmm. uh, they did say that it is very complex to get people into the shelter system. There isn't just this, this one-size-fits-all model in doing so. Uh, DHS also says that the audit doesn't accurately report the number of people who are in the shelter system and that the audit that was conducted only sample sized a very small group of people. So it doesn't really paint the full picture. Again, yeah. this is all according to DHS and their response to the comptroller's uh, audit on this. But it says, you know, despite their disagreement, it remains committed to serving the needs of vulnerable families and individuals. But 41 pages we had to go through this morning, Cindy, yeah. and I think there's a lot of finding, findings in here, rather, that we will have to follow up on in the days ahead. I'm glad that we're going to follow up on it. Absolutely. Elijah, thank you very much. Thank you.